What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm not going to be doing a review of a product per se. It's something that I've never done on my channel. And the reason why I've never done it is because it's like the product is so old, but it is quite literally the product or the AIO that started it all. Now I, I know, believe me, I already know what you're going to try to do. Try to find a vape product that's like this when this launched. You won't find anything. Anything. This came out from America, right? Now, I'm not going to go too far into the history, but I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. However, there are a lot of reviews of this product. So I, I don't really know if that's needed, but I, I guess I could kind of do it on the top. We don't have to bring it down. Hello, you're probably used to seeing my other Patreon plugs, but I figured that if I put some tits inside of the picture, that it would make it a little bit more tolerable. Patreon.com slash J is down here on the bottom. Check that out. Join a $3 tier, 5 10 25 all the way up to $500 if you're feeling frisky enough. $25 tiers. We'll have access to Zooms that we do all the time and post the link in Discord. And hopefully you've enjoyed this ad. Again, patreon.com slash jays and for your local viewing pleasure enjoy those billet box has been around since 2012 now keep in mind in 2012 all we really saw was like the 808s uh the 506s the little i the 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 the, the enjoy jammies not enjoy they made the little cigarettes right uh, or the cigarettes with the filters on the top but you didn't see products like this. And that's not the modern day billet box that we see today. That would be 2014. But in 2012, when they came out, they had a little dial to, to, to adjust. They had uh, a different type of drip tip, a proprietary tank, but they did have bridges on the inside. I'll try to find a picture and post it up here. And it used two 18350s. Why does my finger look like it's broken? I don't know. That looks weird. Okay, but... Then they moved on to the 18650, and then you have the borough that we know today. And a lot of people argue and be like, you know what? We thought about this before billet box. I call bullshit. I call bullshit all day. Okay. You guys know how much I love billet box devices. I'm using one. You saw me the other day. I used to use the Nautilus Prime X, which I love just because of the BP coils. But when billet box made their products, their mindset was how could we make it to where other companies can make bridges for our boroughs? And I'm sure they did not think it would succeed to what it is today. Absolutely not. Because now every single fucking company in the world is making devices that are compatible with the Boro. Now, the Boro is not the billet box. The Boro on the inside is this little sweet number right here. Now, that's not the Boro that comes with the billet box. The only thing when you get a billet box is going to be a Boro like this. And then all those bridges you see go inside of a product like this. This little door slides down, borosilicate, so it's plastic and glass, essentially. So this is the black one. This is the one that I like. Now you see that? See how it slides down? So when this is inside, this goes like this. You put the juice in, slide it back up. That hasn't changed since 2014, okay? Has not changed. But that's what came inside of this. Now, you see what I'm using is I love the billet box. American made, fantastic. 100% American made. And it's got a DNA 60 on the inside. When you find a new one, they don't really look like this anymore to solid colors. They do the splatter situation. But I think every year they change it up. They've even done some different proprietary versions or co collabs. Uh, it's a colon, but collaboration. But if you look at this, now this fits, right? It's got the same type of shape. And this is made by Aspire. So I don't think when they did it, their goal was, okay, there's going to be a million coils that are going to come out. We're going to have to make a million different bridges. And I don't think they ever actually made any bridges. They used to work with Atmo Mystique, which made like the racer bridge. And then you'd be able to use the sub tank coil. But then as time progressed, guess what? More coils, more coils, more coils. And that was a, an avenue for other companies to approach and say, hey, we're going to make a bridge for this. I never really disagreed with that. What I do disagree with is making copies of the Boro tank, a one-to-one -one copy. I, I, I don't see it. But at the same time, they didn't make an Ultim one. I remember the first one that I ever picked up was a Filipino guy made them like this. Uh, that's without the top, obviously, but there is no slide. And it's just a little tiny rubber grommet attached by a little string. And you would get these and 
there would be so many. Now, I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of bridges and boxes. Uh, the, the, the Boxer V2, which is very, very difficult for people to find, is this guy right here. That, that, I think that's the V1. But this has a coil on the top. But you see a lot of them keep the same shape as what the original one is. And, and that's what made it unique. And that has become an industry standard. Because now you see a lot of companies in China taking that same burro and then making a product around that. And then, of course, they make copies of the burro. They make copies of bridges that are $180. Now, I will say this. Uh, being a designer myself and working with American companies and European companies, that I could tell you that a lot of these bridges that these companies charge, $180, $190, doesn't make any fucking sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Well, because the product doesn't cost more than 20 If you can make an RDA that's much more intricate, that has smaller pieces and larger pieces than that of a billet box bridge, and it being cheaper than what they are, like MSRP, something's fucked up. But that's where people, they're like, ooh, let me get this, not knowing that the product you're buying that says it's made in Italy is actually made in China. That's important. That's important. Uh, some people don't give a shit. Whatever, I love this product. I don't care where it's made in. That's fine. That's fine. That's not saying I don't use Chinese products, although I can't really show you one that I'm using right now that's Chinese. That's not saying that I've never liked a Chinese product. There, well, actually, there is right now. I'm using a Chinese product on the inside because I love the BB coils. And I can't hold Billet Box accountable for making a bridge to use that coil because then they'd have to make one for... You pick it, right? And I promise you that there's going to be a bridge out there that uses the coil that you're using now. Right? Even an Nautilus coil, even an EUC coil, the PMP coils, the BP coils, the subtank coils. You, I don't think that there's any that use the TFV coils because those are fucking large and those wouldn't fit inside of a burrow. But a lot of times, these companies that will make a billet box type of product, they'll make a bridge and a burrow tank that works with theirs but doesn't work in the, in the official billet box. That's been many times. And they'll even tell you that you may get a bridge and say, you know what, it only works on a billet box. Good. It will not work on, I'm just going to use one and say the Delro, right? It's not going to work. But the reason why I do this is because I, I, I've just never done a review on this product and I've been using them since the, the revision A? No. Wait. Revision C, revision A. I've been using them since 2014, and you've always seen me use it. It's just when that Nautilus X Prime, there was nothing that used a modern-day coil. Of course, I could do an RBA hit. I have no problem with that. But just like you, I get fucking lazy, and I use coils. I rebuild this all the fucking time. I rebuild this all the time. I rebuild this, and I like AIOs when I go out and about. I don't lie in those reviews. So having something like this where I just pop a plug and I fill it up with right set up, it's good to go. You know, and that is and that is a main reason why someone would go with a billet box. I get it. You're going to say, Jay, they're so hard to come by. I, oh, you know what? Great argument. Okay. But you could still get them. Right? And yeah, they really haven't changed too much. They shouldn't do... Before you leave a comment, they should make it 21700 No, the fuck they should not. No, they shouldn't. I disagree 100%. Because that, at minimum, means it's going to go up at least 5 millimeters. Right? 21700 Or... Uh, yeah, it's definitely going up 5 millimeters. Hands down. Right? Even though it's only 3 millimeters in, uh, in diameter width, it's 5 millimeters in height. 21, 7, those second set of digits, 70 is 5 millimeters taller than a 650. So at least, at least 5 millimeters, and then it's going to be fatter. No, don't fucking change it. I don't care what people tell you. Majority of people that use billet box devices are going to say 18,650. If you want a 21,700, I'm sure there's a company out there that makes it. I'm not sticking up for billet box. They didn't tell me to do this video. It's just that I've never done it. I really wanted to break it down as to how much of an amazing product this is. That's why there's been no jump cuts. This is just a raw video of a fantastic fucking product. I could give you little tips and tricks to make this better, but I promise you, 
it's it's self-explanatory, man. The drip tip is not going to be in it when you get it. It doesn't come with a drip tip, but you probably have a 510. Uh, my drip tip doesn't like to come out very much. And it's got a little nut on the top that essentially, as you screw this down, you tighten down the bridge that's inside of the boro. It makes a connection, and then it's good to go. You put a battery in it, but don't put the boro in with a battery and a drip tip with no bridge, hoping that it's going to work because it's not going to happen. Across the board, if I had to rate this product for as old as it is, and I'm still, this is a new one. This is the FU, but I had to modify the, um, I had to modify the, uh, I don't even know the word. I had to modify the fire button because it took out the rat black from 2016 because, well, that shit failed. But that's got nothing to do with Billabox. box. That's the DNA of me just being lazy and leaving on its side and letting juice go all inside the chip. That's the FU version, right? I'm not a big fan of all the drawing on the side, but the good thing is it's covered up by a G10 slide. Either way, man, if it... If you ask me to rate the billet box for what it is, if you were compared against every other fucking thing that uses a Boro tank, that this started it all, this is probably the best product of them all. I would rate this a 9.5. There's not a lot. I would even go 9.8. There's not a lot that I could tell you that could fix this to make this a better product. The airflow is more key. And if the airflow is not enough for you and you want more, I don't know what to tell you. That's a lot of airflow, but they make bridges that have adjustable airflow. They did an amazing job with this, and I don't think they'll ever make anything that's better than this. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out. Hey! Welcome back again! And as you can tell right now, this is a promotion for myself. Instead of blue blocks or blue cocks or whatever the fuck, just go ahead and just click the join button down below, youtube.com slash jays slash join. Yes. Don't. Or do. Sponsored by Jays.